Hi, folks. This is Rugby Beck coming to you with kind of a bedtime story, but it's about today in, in modern times. It's not about reminiscing back uh, through the old times, but basically it's about uh, the real Hollywood fixer. The real Hollywood fixer was Tony Pelicano. And there's been a lot of people that have started doing uh, podcasts and all different kinds of things, um, recordings like I'm doing right now. And I started mine in 2016. And I found that uh, other people, Adam Flowers uh, started with Frank Collada in uh, years after that, we talked about it. So I kind of was the first one out there doing it. But I really didn't put a YouTube show on. I started till later when I did my lives. But anyway, Tony Pelicano, I first met him in 1974. I was introduced mm -hmm. to him by Marshall Cofano. And Marshall Cofano was a, an interesting person, quite a character. When I read about his past now, which I didn't know when I knew him, uh, he was a very dangerous man. He was quite the murderer. But along the ways, I got a kick out of it because I've seen people like Michael Francis put on his productions. I've seen um, all the different mob guys uh, trying to glorify their, their lives. I don't think I've ever really tried to glorify my life. And besides, I was on the other side of the law. I, was, I wasn't out there trying to screw people out of money or steal from them or take from them. Um, as some people like uh, Mr. Spado and uh, <laughs> Paul Deary seem to do, they capitalize on other people's weaknesses. I don't seem to do that. I try not to, but uh, the accidental gangster, it was, uh, <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's totally different. And if I'm here knocking somebody, you're right, I am. Because uh, they blow themselves up to be something that they really weren't. And I never do that. I try to be myself. But uh, Aldiri, uh, he talks about, uh, I've listened to his podcast that he did with other people. And he's a motivational speaker. I don't know what he motivates people to do, but as I listen to him, he's selling himself. He's trying to make money off of the media and um, writing his books and opening up a company called Coastal West uh, Publishing. One of the people he, he signed was Dennis Griffin on a book and it was about David Bowman. And David Bowman was really the guy that took down uh, Las Vegas. He really was. He, he actually started the ball in, in motion where uh, Tony Spalacho and uh, Frank Collada, he actually uh, informed on Frank Collada and it all started falling apart in Vegas. And he has one heck of a story to tell, except the book that was written, it went through Coastal West. And he's really not getting the play on it that he should. He's supposed to do it himself. Everything is left up to him. Yet they sit back and take the part of the royalties. They take the gravy. He does all the work, they take the gravy. And it's for a very small percentage. Mm. And now that Dennis Griffin has died, it's very different too. But I just wanted to set the record straight. If you really want to know who the Hollywood fixer is, look up Wikipedia and take a look at Tony Pelicano. Tony Pelicano was the Hollywood fixer. And he fixed things with a Louisville slugger, threats of death. He worked for some of the best uh, or outstanding Hollywood uh, personalities. And uh, like I said, he also worked for Tony. Uh, he had a contract with uh, Tony Spalaccio. 
years back. But anyway, I hope you have a very good evening. And we'll see if we can get this up for you. I thank you so much. And for you, those of you that haven't, uh, try and take a look at my book. Uh, nobody cares what I did about it. I'll plug that too. Okay. <laughs> have a great time, folks. God bless you.